ducks were finished. Everybody was saying, ducks are toast. They're over. Done, done with. After an embarrassing beating at Hawaii and a similar result against Utah, the 1994 Oregon football team was 1-2, and two, and many feared a second straight losing season. And we was 1-2, and two, but we knew we had the talent to, you know, to win those ball games. And little did this group know at the time, the adversity it faced would change the face of Oregon football. For the players, the turning point in the year came behind closed doors. It's when we had a team meeting without the coaches, and then everybody, you know, got a chance to, you know, to speak and, and kind of uh, air things out. It was a team meeting for me. It really changed things and really did a good job of uh, bringing a young team together and playing hard. It made it a magical year. And the magical season ensued. The Ducks won eight of the last nine, including wins over ninth-ranked Washington. And eighth-ranked Arizona. And it was a come-from-behind Civil War victory which clinched the conference championship and the Rose Bowl both, the first in almost 40 years. It was a life-changing event. A lot of the players, we, we dug deeper than we've dug before. At the time, we didn't know. We were college kids, you know, enjoying the moment. And now, 11 years after the fact, Rich Brooks' team has been given the greatest honor, a team induction into the Oregon Hall of Fame. I could never imagine this. I, I don't think I would trade this for anything in the world. It's been extremely fantastic that they took the time out to, you know, to honor us this way. And, you know, it's just an honor just to be a part of this program. And what this group of young men accomplished in one season can still be felt today. Their handprints forever on Oregon football. That season is that it not only on this facility and the athletic department, but the university. To me, that was a major springboard for this university. The team was honored at halftime during the Oregon-Washington game, a chance for the fans to say thanks and for the team to get one last taste of Watson Stadium. And a great moment when they lifted Coach Brooks up, reminiscent of those great Civil War battles, huh? Absolutely. There's a picture of that after that game at, uh, at uh, Beaver Stadium. I, I'll tell you what, it's a great group of kids, great group of young men now, not kids, and they've changed... They changed Oregon football forever. They set the foundation for modern Oregon football and success we're having today. An honor rightly deserved and a great day and a great weekend at the campus at Austin Stadium. A big win over Washington, another big one coming up against Arizona. Of course, we'll do it all again next week here on Oregon Football with Mike Blotty. Thanks for watching, everyone.